Well, when's the last time you have used the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the angle at which your pickles bend? I should really rephrase that, shouldn't I? Here's 5 reasons that you should always be hating maths even though if you are a 17 year old or 17 year work experienced math graduate who has done double degrees in maths. I don't give a flying fluff about your maths degree man. I just want you to hate it. But, but why do I want it to hate it? This is the name of the episode. 5 things that I hate the most but this time I'm gonna be doing it only on maths. So when's the quadratic equation come in handy to calculate the present days that you owe to your IRS on your monthly income? Uh, let me let me just let me just tell you when. Never, because it never freaking happens. You don't need to calculate your percentage of tax because you don't even earn that money if you have a double match degree. Well, before we head into our video, let me just give you two reasons that you should always be doing maths. Yeah, this one hurts me the most. The first one is to get actually better at problem solving because it apparently helps you be develop mental stability uh, by just, you know, solving maths problem. You can just be able to uh, solve complex problems in your real life, such as calculating the money that you owe to your wife after you get a divorce. And second of all, the thing is that you are a madman and you have gone nuts completely that you should be able to do in maths. I, I'm personally a math student and I never go like, man, today I want to do maths. I'm feeling like that I should be doing maths. No, never. I, I never do that. Well, well, you can do computer science like this. You can do physics like this. Sometimes I go like, I should be calculating the angle at which I will accelerate a particle which will go into my mouth. Never. Never really happens, it doesn't really happen. And let me just conclude this by giving you a simple, simple joke and a pun as well. What is the difference between a knife and math? Yep, you got it. At least a knife has a point. No, man, math doesn't have a point. You are just a stupid person doing math. Stupid! Uh, excuse me on this one, but I'm gonna use some bad words for trigonometry. You always freaking forget the formula, the correct one at the time of execution. You think you are prepared for every freaking question, but you are not, in fact. Just ask yourself, when's the last time you remember what is cos squared theta equals to? Literally nobody knows. But if you, even if you're an accountant, Let's say you are an accountant and you want to do maths. What's the basic maths you can do? Accounting doesn't really require the degree at which the sun bends when it, it just, you know, what is the angle of inclination and what's the angle of whatever the shit that is. I don't know. Well, if you want to watch how 2024 is the biggest unskippable ad, you can click here, here, maybe somewhere. And also, if you want to watch the previous part of this video, you can also click somewhere here. I don't know where. Never issues, so I'm probably sorry if I hurt someone. Uh, no, not the math professors. <laughs> Oh my god, that was perfect, that was perfect, that was perfect.